Hello there. I didn't hear you come in. I'm just so lost in thought on this little experiment I've been tinkering with. That's all right. I think I may have found the key to this one. And it might prove to be something quite shocking. But enough about that. And pardon my manners. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Franklin. Mr. Weeks sends his regrets that he's not able to be in the room at the moment. But he has taken a bit of a respite to see the great work your child has done in some of the other classrooms. He's asked me to give you a bit of a guided tour, as you might say, as to what is on display here in this room in our 8th grade social studies class. Now, if you take a gander along the walls, you will see timeline projects, much like the one I have here, that the students have been working on diligently over the past couple of weeks. Now, they were instructed to research the major events of a career they might be interested in pursuing. Now, while I am fond of such pursuits as becoming a diplomat, librarian, a fireman, a postal worker, a scientist, or dare I even say a revolutionary, there is a myriad of jobs that were researched and are framed before you for your perusal. Each timeline should have five major events starting with the year in which the job was established, either across the pond or here in the colonies, or I suppose now I should call them the states. The intervals of the timeline should be equivalent, and each point of interest should have an illustration and an explanation as to why the event is significant to the advancement of the career. Did your child follow these directions? This project served as a follow-up to the college and career day we recently had here at Chaparral. And since Mr. Weeks is quite enthusiastic about studying the past in order to be better prepared for the future, he is hoping that this project gave some eye-opening and thought-provoking information to your child as they begin to consider what it will take to be a success in whatever professional path they choose. If you take a look at the desk, your child has created one-fourth of the diorama that details some of the incredible topics that have been covered since August. Take a look at your son's or daughter's contribution. Can you find the who, what, when, where, and why of the particular topic from our nation's childhood? Did your child present this with clear, concise, complete sentences? How about proper grammar and spelling? There should also be an image or a three-dimensional object that relates to the topic your son or daughter chose. After you've examined your child's work, give the diorama a spin and look at the other historical highlights being shared. Quiz your youngin on the material being provided before them. Can they answer the who, the what, the when, and the where? They certainly should be able to. What's that? Oh, that wall there. That's Mr. Weeks's prize collection of Starbucks cards. He's been amassing them over several years now. There's approximately 680 cards up on that wall, some of them coming from the far corners of the world like Japan, Canada, England, boo, and even the Philippines. Some were gifted by his colleagues, but most of them came from his students or through his own acquisitions. And no, no, there's no money on those cards. Mr. Weeks wouldn't leave any value on the cards. He is so very fond of his coffee and his tea. Though I do hear he wouldn't mind dumping some of that tea into a harbor if the situation calls for it. Well, thank you for coming by. I have hoped that you've had an enjoyable opportunity getting just a little sliver of what is taught in social studies. I hear there's a bit of a thunderstorm brewing, and it's now time that I get back to my experiment. Have a good evening.